Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers! It is your boy, The Good Tonight, and we're back, finally, at long last, doing our next review. Finally covering the TAPS Chestering, the Tactical Assault Panel System? Probably? I don't know. Lots of acronyms, you can generally guess them. So, the TAPS is the cool little um, Chestering system. I think they're currently issuing it out, kind of like a uh, replacement to the FLC, the Flick, the LBV 2.0. This would be LBV 3.0. So, the Flick, or the, ah, the TAPS, is a unique chest rig and that I don't have a ton of experience with it, but I did see it okay, recommended with the FLC at one point. Some people were talking about it and I was like, oh yeah, I think my buddy had that. And I messaged him, he had one of the like earliest like Gen 1 first versions, and it is a unique sort of system. So we're going to be covering a few things about that that I found particularly interesting. And it can be run alone as a chest rig system. Um, one of the cool things it does is you can kind of fold it up upon itself and right up here there is actually a carry handle. So if you just have like nothing else you can load up your mags, um, you got two radio pouches and six magazines. That's the most important part. You got your six mag loadout, you got your two radio pouches and one of those radio pouches could always just be used to hold a handgun. Which is nice, it's always good to have a little sidearm. You never know when you're gonna need to whip out that CZ-75. Cause it's a pretty cool gun. I mean, I'll just sort of like, let's set that in there and set this up, pretty simple. So it does use, um, I'm trying to remember, where did I see these? There's like the, um, yeah, I think it was BDS. BDS like to use the, uh, like sort of like reverse tab sort of magazine insert. So basically, the Velcro comes in towards the body over the top of the mag and then you have a pull tab. So when you need your magazine, pop pop, you just reach down, you grab that little tab, pull that up, grab the mag, and you are good to go. And this old six, so we got radio, one, two, three, four, five, six, and other radio and or handgun. And if you're crazy, two handguns, but you know. So lots of molly, pals, webbing, ladders all across the front and it does come up to the uh, sides here. So I do like its very wide sort of setup and we're going to be talking about why shortly. The wide setup is pretty cool it gives you lots of space to play with because usually you lose um, a bit of space in the, uh, it's the armpit section here on like your normal plate carriers and stuff. This kind of gives you a little fill up spot here. so. And again, there's um on the harness that comes with it, it is sort of like pre-cut and pre-webbed together, so it's easy to set up a PTT and run comms with your boonie hat. Um so yeah. Um it what's cool is it does use um a pretty standard sort of like uh buckle system here. And the back piece is a little weird. It does have that little like triangle cut. So you're skipping out on that lower back um little part and then this would usually like hang up here on the top. So what you have is this uh, stiff portion here. This is all stiffened so that they can only run a single band through it. And that is a pretty unique choice because now you're doing that instead of having two straps that give you better stability, you're doing it all on one strap. And it does, as you can kind of see here, it does squish up a bit depending on how large and or rotund you are. And I guess if you were really skinny, you could just go back to back. Rub the whole thing around, 360 security, but yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to start like just popping this parts out of here. So again, same full tabs on the radios. These actually have an adjust adjustable part and some Velcro up on the front. So if you have taller or shorter radios, you can somewhat adjust that to give you some room to work with, or you could just remove it entirely and have no form of retention. So when you're crawling through the brush and everything, you go to reach for your handgun and it is now on a branch, but friggin' three miles back and uh, you're in a lot of trouble. That's, that's not, that's not, that's not daijoubu, not, not okay. So we're gonna just pop that out real quick and I'm gonna actually pop this off. You can actually just swim into this. That's one of the things I like. So kind of like the um, old school cross harness, you can still sort of get this to work with you. So the way I got this set up is I got these maxed out on the sides. So what I do is I just loosen these. Yep, super easy. This is, um. <laughs> One of those pieces of kit where it helps to have friends, or at least teammates, or whatnot. I'm just gonna 
This worked out. I swear this. Everything works better when I'm not on camera. Everything's perfectly fine until I start rolling. So I'm just gonna take that off. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna reclip it. Then I'm gonna loosen it. And there we go. It needs to be more of an angle. And voila. So when you initially have it set up, all you gotta do is swim into it. It's gonna hang really low. You pull this up. You can pull on your tabs here. So let's pull this off. What we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna remove both of these buckles. It's a, it's a process, it's a process, people. It's a process. So you can see, you got this suspender sort of set up here. And you can make it as tall and short depending as you want. I am not a nine foot seven or anything crazy, so we're gonna keep this maxed short. The parts up here on the front, and then you got your clips in the back. Now these are all using the, um, these are the little female connector parts. So you'd want to have like male connector parts. Usually the uh, lower part would just have the, um, I haven't done this in a while. I used to have a lot of micro chest rigs and I haven't had them in a while. But with a bit of work, you can sort of adjust a few of the buckles and you could make your own sort of, you could use a different harness, but there's going to be some work involved. So the chest rig itself, You've got your radio and get you guys a better view here. So you can see that just sort of like bulks out. There's the um, support material in there. Radio, you can pop the radio out, run all your stuff you need through there. As you can see, there's the radio pocket. And right there, that's where the um, you can sort of reach into the Velcro there and adjust that on the inside. Magazine pouches as I was talking. Pull those out. And there's the Velcro back here. There's a little bit of, um, that's not right there, is it? As you get closer to the center, you do get the uh, bits of webbing there in case you wanted to do something cool with that. On the back end, you have a couple pockets. So this pocket on here, we have just a single spare handgun mag. Because if you're on a handgun, it helps to have a spare mag in case anything goes wrong or you need more ammo. And you got these cool little mesh pockets. The mesh pockets are nice because they're going to breathe a lot better when you're wearing it over a blouse or a combat shirt. In the middle pocket here, we have that carry handle that I'll be demonstrating shortly. And again, just more mesh. Perfect map pocket. It's good to have a map pocket if you got maps. And then this, you can add your um, other paperwork and stuff. And then you got the, lastly, you got a zipper pocket here. And then this guy. So the tabs comes with a lot of components. We're not gonna be using them all, but it comes with a lot of components. I got these finangled like so. So you got the little, the tri-glides here. So these tri-glides, and this is the important part when I was talking about those clips, you can take these tri-glides here and I, I, have to, I had to do some, I had to do some tomfoolery. How did I make that work? Yeah, I had to have it in sort of like reversed, but you take these tri-glides and every chest uh, plate carrier has those little bits up on the front and you can weave that in through those bits Weave it through those bits, and now you got two clips here. I got them. I got them. I had to run them backwards because they would be uh, too long otherwise. And you, with that, you can actually run them on the uh, AVS. However, because you've got mesh on the back and not Velcro to sort of like mount it to the front, you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of swish and sway, and also that extra weight is gonna pull down on the front plate, which is the similar reason I didn't like running crazy large back panels with a bunch of stuff on them because then you get the reverse effect of it pulling down on the back. I'd rather just keep the straps and the straps and then just wear it over the armor. It's an option. So you can do that. It's an, it's something you can do, but you're also going to want to mount the um, heavy stuff on the back of the plate and sort of balance yourself out. Think uh, Armored Core 4 answer. You got to balance it all out. And once you do pull too much weight from the front, you're just going to start pulling back. They take too much stuff from the back first, then you're going to start pulling to the front, and you got to sort of make do adjust as you go. But yeah, you got, you, most importantly, carry six mags, and um, that part is pretty cool. Now, as far as here, I wonder if I can do this. We're going to try to roll this up a bit. I think I'm going to have to do it a little backwards. But as you can see, yeah, yeah perfect. Roll that up there. Roll this guy up over here. Put them that way. 
tighten them down. Tighten it down. This would probably be cleaner with just one, huh? Yeah, let's just fold you in there. So you tighten this guy after you, you can keep these little buckles on the side. I kept these ones here because I've already got buckles coming out of my AVS. So put in the two uh, little triglides, clip that top part in, and then you can run the buckles in through. As you can see, you just run one of the clips through a buckle, and you can turn this thing into a nice little ball. In a nice little ball configuration, you throw it in your bag, and then when you need it, if you need it, you got your handle ready. So now you just reach in your bag, your little assault pack or whatever, because you're hanging out, you're doing your thing, and oh no, we need chest rigs. Reach in your bag, boom, bam, ready to go. In a nice sort of like clean can shape, like a, I guess it could actually be the fabled can of whoop ass at long last <laughs> but yeah it makes this cool i don't know I, I don't know why it's satisfying it's satisfying for it to be in this nice little round shape it just tickles something in the back of your brainstem you're like ooh. but yeah and if you do mount a bunch of crazy stuff to the um stuff here like admin pouches and admin panels admin pouches and stuff then you try to um, find out where you're gonna have those natural folds because a four by four by two, you can fit a nice little admin pouch right there, or you could fit almost fit a nice little admin pouch up here. And then all you gotta do is undo this buckle and be like, oh no! And yeah, you can also just fold the rest of the uh, harness in there and shabam! Hey, you can clip that to the front of your plate carrier and then run these around the back. So the big thing is made for that. Um, all the current in use sort of like Marine Corps plate carriers. So it comes with a variety of different buckles and stuff for you to get it set up on those different plate carriers and there's a whole instruction manual. So you can, with a lot, with a little to a lot of ingenuity, get this to run on a plate carrier, which is pretty cool. Then you got a little bit of extra space for maps and everything, but you'd probably get the best results on say, oh, maybe saw, I was gonna say like a concealable plate carrier, but they usually don't have anything to clip into, so you might have to still use the harness and just wear it over that. But, easy way to carry six mags, easy way to add in a sidearm and comms, and then you can still comfortably wear a backpack over all of that. And if you're wondering why I'm not reattaching the harness right now, it's because I set it down somewhere and I already forgot, because um, I appear to slowly be developing zoomer brain. That is unfortunate. But yeah, so anyway, that's sort of the entire review. Oh, seriously, where did I set it down? Oh no! Is there one day you just can't remember anything, next thing you know you're President of the United States. So yeah, that's um, all I really got for you guys today. As you can see, six mags, I'm gonna pull them all out because we can count together. One, two, three, four, Five. I hope that doesn't fall over. Six. E. Z. And there you go. Nice little. You got all those little pockets. And you, all you all, you never truly have to carry magazines. You can really cover whatever you want. And here, they are nicely divided amongst themselves. So magazines are going to slip around between each other. And you can put other magazine shaped things. I know they make a uh, single magazine IFAC, so. As you might have noticed, it doesn't come with a built-in IFAC, one of the few things you're missing. So you can slap one on, or you can get one of those micros that fit in a magazine pouch, and boom, perfect. Of course, mind you, they will only hold a single magazine. They're not double stacked, so it does keep things a bit closer, and gives you room in case you want to add stuff to the front. So, that is the... Kind of, I guess it's kind of like a review. Um, I wish I had more experience with it, it's going to take a bit of time to start really running it. Oh yeah, look at that. Those uh, run straight into that. They're sewn directly into the carry handle. So that is pretty neat. So that's the review I got for you guys today. As you can see, once it's nice and empty, you can just make it make an even tighter ball, like so. And carry all your stuff. Whew. 
It's been a, it's been a long day, man. It's been a long day. So that's the that's the review I got for you guys. You know, if you have any questions or anything down in the comments, if you pop in over. I see it. Where is it? Yeah. If you actually unfold this here, one last thing to take a look at. We entirely undo that. You can see the ah the tab here. So yeah, USMC chest rig. And then it doesn't say taps on it at all. It just says USMC chest rig. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, you see buckle into handle system. So if you guys are thinking of a game one, this is a bit more expensive than the uh, the Flick, the FLC. However, it comes ready to go, right out the box. You don't need to add pouches to it. And if you really needed to, one of the cool things that the manual even says you can do is you can tuck in these front two tabs here, your very front ones, and you could put a saw pouch on there and carry a bunch of uh, saw ammo. So that is pretty neat if you're carrying, if you're more interested in carrying saw mags than uh, M4 mags. But it's a pretty versatile kit. Like I said, I like the ones that are more pre-built that you can sort of like maneuver around to turn radio pouches into handgun pouches and that sort of ordeal. So compared to the flick, right out of the box, ready to go. Something I'm a fan of. You don't have to deal with too much webbing. You can add the things you want and not the things you don't need. And you got the pouches for more or less all the essentials you need. Carry your maps, you can throw stuff in the zipper here. It's a nice zipper. Made by Ideal. And yeah, so... Comfy cool-in mesh for the heat and humidity. Map pocket, if anyone gives you a map. If nothing else, you can always put your range cards and stuff in there. And lots of tabs. It's a very well-made, smart design piece of kit. Um, I like it. I wouldn't run it on a plate carrier, but as far as like chest rigs go, this is a pretty solid contender for my uh, LBT. Uh, I mentioned the LBT before, so I like the fact that that can easily be modded in this guy. I'm gonna warn this in a minute. But the LBT, throw this guy on. It's also, we got eight mags. That's two more mags. Six plus two, that's eight, that's a lot of mags. You still get your radio pouches, and then you got your extra GP pouches, and you can throw compasses, grenades, and all that cool stuff. So the LBT one still carries more, significant, costs significantly more, but you can still carry all your maps and everything else in the LBT one. And you can also pop open the front when you need to go prone, and zip it back up when you're on the move. So I do like the simplicity and nice uh, and everything, all the cool stuff that the LBT does. The taps. Significantly cheaper, bit of a weirder sort of harness system, but very easy to integrate into a plate carrier if you so chose to. Why am I not putting this on a plate carrier? Well, look at the size of these buckles, brother! Yeah, I mean, with a little bit of work, a little bit of help from some uh, tactical adjustment guys, you can do a few alterations. But yeah, like, look at this guy, this guy fits. Bam! I really like the I like the harness on this or the um, the back sort of harness setup to this. I mean, you could separate all your pieces from each other, but yeah, I mean it's already perfectly set up. Still get your straps for your th radios and stuff. So if you got the cash, you can get the LBT. The LBT is nice. The split split front is very 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 nice, and the taps. It's also pretty good. Uh, you get the taps for 70 bucks. You can get a flick for, what was it, like 15 bucks out here, a bit more stateside, and then adjust your pouches. So you got options is the key takeaway. I really like the LBT though. So ranking wise, I'd probably go with the LBT first because it's just a really good chest rig. And between the taps and the flick, the flick's got a lot more versatility and the taps is ready to go out of the box. It's got a cool carry handle if you need to just pull it out, throw it over, slap it on, and just run rifle and chest rig. With no time to do anything else, nice little Minuteman setup. And then the flick, you can throw anything and everything you want on there, keep all the pouches exactly where you want them, and do cool stuff too. So it's a pretty tight one first, second, third, but it's close enough that I would run any of those pieces of gear if the opportunity presented itself. So again, 
Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. And I will be hopefully getting more videos out relatively soon. So cheers, stay chill for us, and uh, peace out.